Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Spray Paint back at you with another video, man. The other half of it's time for that Culture for the Street podcast. Smash that like button, hit the notification bell. So, we got to talk about back on Fig, speaking on Sharp, going hard for the white man. Now, the reason why they saying this, y'all know no jumper staff got fired. You feel me? According to Adam22, it's no more afternoon shows. It's no more Monday shows. It's no more no jumper news. It's over with. Now, during this situation, y'all know a lot of these dudes that was working for no jumper, they don't have their own platform. The only person that's working for themselves is Flacco. You still see him breaking down segments in his living room. But anyway, Heather said several times they asked Shaw, do he want to come on back on feed and be a guest? And Shaw would say things like, no, nah, I'm straight, church. I'm good. Now, this sounds just like something that he would say. I believe it. For some reason, I didn't never really pay Shaw no attention like that. Especially when I found out about this nigga having Drake pictures all in his bathroom. Like, I didn't look at him... The same, because, like, bro, what is you doing? You would expect a guy to have some women all over his wall. This nigga literally had Drake, got Drake all over his bathroom. But not to get off subject, yeah, um, yeah, it ain't looking good for Sharp. Because if everybody else left, nigga, you should have left too. You feel me? But instead, you tried to show your loyalty towards Adam 22, thinking he was going to be a stand-up friend to you, and now it's just a slap in the face because he done fired you when you could have just went on and worked your own move. Now, Heather them say that, you know, Sharp been, he, he's he been going live. I seen him and Brick, they've been doing their own thing, like trying to crank up his channel or whatever. But y'all should y'all supposed to been doing that from the start. How long y'all thought y'all was going to be up there on No Jumper with Adam before he cut y'all water? And not to mention, y'all should have been ready for this when they said that DJ and Paul got shot by the, by the uh, security dude. Y'all should have known that it was just a matter of time because he got to have some lawsuit money. Because according to DW Flame, allegedly they said the security guard wasn't even... A, a guy that could carry firearms. Like, he wasn't even real security. So, Adam might be in more trouble, bro. But then again, I need y'all to let me know how y'all feel. Because it looked like it looked like Sharp didn't want to see nobody that left away from back, uh, no jump or prosper, bro. Because the nigga like a dry nigga to me. Y'all get in the comments and let me know how y'all feel, bro. I'm gone.